Good morning viewers. Uh, welcome to the latest episode of Thought Thoughtful Leaders and initiative under uh, Thoughts on Education at collegedunia.com. I'm very glad that today I have Dr. G Ramesh sir with me. I've joined today. Sir is having an immense 37 plus years of experience in aeronautical engineering and radius field. Currently he is the dean of research at Gopalan College of Engineering and Management. Previously he was served as the head of the department head of the department so thank you so much for joining with us sir i would like to hear from you itself sir thank you very much ms bilal uh, i am glad that i am talking to you to give a brief profile of the college as well as by from me uh, essentially this is a kind of information which i thought i would share with you of uh, my experience in the academic field the last five years five six years earlier i was a national aerospace laboratory research scientist i started my career as a scientist in the wind tunnel center where we are looking at uh, the early research aspects of launch vehicles of isr and also the aircraft programs which are tested in the wind tunnels subsequently in the next 10 years i worked on the flow diagnostics advanced laser based tools for analyzing the flows and everything in both subsonic and supersonic tunnels and the last part of my career i was fortunate to work in the micro air vehicle which we call popularly as a drone today because that was emerging in 2005 and 2008 uh, based on the initiative from dr abdul kalam the nl got a project on the first micro air vehicle which was supposed to fly a 100 gram vehicle with uh, 10 minutes endurance to a range of 1 km it was a challenge in 2008 that program really gave a lot of insight to the applied work on the aeronautics in a small scale to me so Great. 2008 to 2016 i was working in that program as head of the division head okay. of the group which subsequently we were able to demonstrate to indian army and uh, the forces a uh, 10 gram 100 gram vehicle flying for 1 to 2 kilometers okay. that's something okay. gratification to me so All after right. my this thing super innovation in nail i got into academics that's all and present to all right great sir wonderful uh, sir coming to the first part of the question uh, being the uh dean of research of aeronautical department of the gobalan college how do you strategize about the key programs and plan for the marketing and administration of your college yeah and in a way I, in 2019 i was asked to head the department because the aeronautical department was newly established in gopal college in 2019 i was the founder head of uh, the aeronautical department the first batch of students will be coming out in 2023 this year so thanks to my background uh, my focus was to have a holistic development when we developed the aeronautical department the management was very supportive when i wanted to set up establishment the facilities and all the research labs they were not only considering that as an academic uh, exercise and beyond academics if it can be used for industrial application research our management gave us full support to extend the laboratory's capabilities for automation based one and also extend the capabilities of their features so that it can also be used for good research as a good research tool so that is the philosophy by which also the strategy is that today the education scenario is changing and thanks to nep which came recently but in 2019 itself we started thinking that all the subjects what are you are handling whatever topics we are looking at it should be okay. fully supported with the simulation and experimental tools okay. so towards that we also set up a uav research lab which okay. uh, has been active in promoting active research in this and uh, gopalan of course i can say about that uh, later also that uh, we have a good ecosystem by which the college gets the support from industries and uh, strategically located where we have a number of industries we have mous with companies which Correct. helps the students to get into more applied I, problems 
correct sir because i was uh, coming to the second part where i would like to know the how does the curriculum of hogawalan college of engineering ensure the best practice of the industry yeah in a way we are fortunate that uh, the new education policy by government has been quickly adopted by karnataka government i'm also with uh, uh, vishweshwara technical university which uh, gopalan is also part of it in that context now in addition where students can look at open electives they have choice based credit systems now they can choose the subjects of their liking and also which are more relevant to them today to give them the kind of employment skill and industry related and also they have a choice to work with interdepartmental projects where a student from aeronautics department can work with an electronics department or a civil department student so that the project will be more meaningful and also will be more uh, holistic in some sense so these are some of the things other than okay. that we have also asked we have our gopalan aerospace industry the industry professors can come and give a applied curriculum for a semester based okay. on the requirement of the industry that's just on the offing we have some schemes by which the industry professors themselves design the course and give it as a customized course for the students and internship okay. of course all those things are i think most of our students go for internship outside they don't do stay in the college most of the time they get an offer so that way the college uh, gives enough uh, scope for uh, thing, uh, for a students growth in whichever possible way we can connect to the industry and also the uh, consortium partners okay okay great sir so what do you see uh, as gobalan college greatest strength sir i would say the i think the i would say the strength is something the management is very supportive and uh, they are proactive in uh, they are very well known gopalan foundation is known for their construction renowned construction industry they expanded into aerospace electronics hospitality sector organic farming a number of things into that so the ecosystem provides a great advantage for us uh, thing also being centrally located close to aerospace hub and uh, it hub we have pool of talents who are available for at our service for as a visiting professors and also extending their cooperation giving an applied projects this kind of things are also possible for this college in addition we have uh, this thing uh, drone research lab by itself which is going to promote applied research to the students who will have hands on learning on this thing they are all coming up being the first batch we are in the initial stages but nevertheless looking beyond this i am seeing a great potential for a very uh, kind of very exciting uh, for time for students where will may many other things they will work on applied problems and also they will have enough tools to work with and also mentoring will be done by industry experts and also good accreditations okay. so this is the strategy what we call uh, this thing and both management gives is fully with us in all these aspects and okay. they also have a uh, plans to start aerospace skill academy in the neighborhood of the college which will be extended oh. not only for, to our students uh, any college students at the final year or after post final they can join the skill academy and we will have a collaborative effort to wonderful uh, go for uh-huh. aerospace industry to now it's going to be called, already it was existing earlier but for covid time it was we had a short break in that it's called gopal and skill academy that's going okay. to be revived in a few months now great superb sir uh, all the best for the all whatever are uh, uh, coming ahead for uh, gopalan college sir uh, coming to the last part i would like to ask you like what are some of the biggest challenges you see both for higher education in general and uh, gopalan college specifically yeah higher education not only specific to gopalan college this is a general problem today is the kind of uh, i would say the kind of heavy investment one has to look at uh when you are looking at engineering branches like aerospace and aeronautical sciences and like computer science the investment is of several orders higher than when you want to really look at aeronautical engineering in a meaningful way we need a good exposure for them for that a lot of investment in kind of uh, tools facilities and also the kind of manpower that is required to 
handle this aeronautical engineering and aerospace engineering. Fortunately, in Bangalore, we have some uh, thing, ISRO, National Aerospace Lab, CN and all, which will give them some exposure, practical exposure, which our college being strategically located is fine. But the challenge continues to be the sliding technology because the way things are happening, we have to cope up with that. And also the retention of faculties. It's very difficult to get good faculties, uh, good exposure of industry plus applied problem and also who are staying with current technology. to expo give them that kind of uh, this thing exposure to students is challenging and, and retaining them is also a you know, challenge it's not only for that okay. also the kind of okay. investments are very high so the probable one way to go about is consortium partners you can't set up all facilities in one college and expect everything to this thing give a return on this thing okay. so a group of colleges or with industry we plan to have a uh, kind of uh, large investment setups say for example a engine testing facility aero engine testing facility or a okay. kind of simulation of a large propeller these kind of things are more relevant so okay. that kind of things have to happen with uh, yes kind of, some kind of period of time yeah so in the course of time it will happen and okay. also because as the emphasis is more towards applied learning all these things are very important for correct, any correct, correct. higher education institution if they don't focus on that they lose the relevance today because anyone can get youtube based videos and get this thing. but the practical exposure and applied problems if they don't give it to students they is okay. very difficult for them to stand up and meet their requirement of industry that's my all right thing. wonderful sir uh, you have a lot of great visionary throughout uh, whatever the experience you gained and i believe that through golan gopal college will be able to implement that Uh, and again thank you sir thank you so much for joining with us today for this short interview i would i would love if i get some more time to interact with you but there are time constraints with it so thank you so much for joining with us sir thank you very much it's also my pleasure i wish you all the very best i would uh, love, I'd love to invite you to the college to see the facilities and also interact with the students so that you get the real picture what's happening yeah, sure, sure 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 definitely to be thank you very thank much thank you so much